if you're new here my name is Catherine I'm a year three teacher in the UK and it is day three of my class and setup today so you are joining me today for a very wet and murky Monday but I'm heading to school to put my displays up the titles and try and get some of the stuff sorted for the maths and literacy working walls I got some inspiration from someone on Instagram I think it was it's Miss V I think it's me Miss V and yeah so I'm going to just head in and do that today I've also made a trellis over the weekend and tried to do some things for the reading garden if I can get a picture I'll pop it here but if not you'll see it in school anyway so I just hot glued some roses and leaves to a trellis from Wilco that was 250 and I'm going in today to spread it out on the wall try and attach it and do the rest of the things I'm also experimenting with making tissue paper flowers and paper roses to give that space a bit of an oomph so that's the to-do list for today as well as continuing last week's stuff with the maths boxes maths packs and just sorting out my trays so i'm gonna pop you guys down and head into school now to get all that done So I'm at school, but it's eerily quiet. So um, I'm just gonna check my emails and see when school actually open. I mean, I didn't set any alarms off, so I assume I can come in, but it's very quiet in here. Very quiet. Okay, panic over. School is open, I'm just the loner in the building right now. Um, so I'm going to start by unpacking my bags and everything, writing my list and then actually doing stuff. I don't like it being this empty. I don't, I feel like I shouldn't be here. Like usually I would love this because I can vlog freely. I can rock out to whatever I put on, but oh, it feels wrong. I feel like I've broken in. Anyway. A, well, the same list as last week, I guess. But I added things to do, like, new things in purple, so I've got more display signs to put up, hence the times too. The trellis needs to go up in the book corner and organising the books. So the trellis is this little beauty right here. So I just used a 250 trellis from Milko, and then I stuck on these leaves and roses. So this is all part of like one big vine I got from Amazon. And I just cut the leaves off and cut the roses off, or pulled the roses off rather, and pulled the leaves off. The vine is still in that bag there, which also has these blossoms that I got from Pound Stretcher, if you saw my um, haul video. So some things have fallen off, so I had to hot glue some of the leaves back on, like here. And then I'm adding this vine along to it. So just like going along these bits. But yeah, once that's done, I'm going to put it on the wall in the book corner. I think I'm going to use these hooks to do it because I wasn't sure how I was going to do it. But if I've got these, I think I'll use these. So yeah, that's job number one. Mm, no, it's not. I'll put displays up first because that then the whole glue gun can warm up while I'm doing that. 
Um, so a little update. I've been really bad at time lapsing today just because I don't know why I'm not feeling it. But um, I've put the math practices things up. So I'll go around and show that in a second. I've put something on the home corner and I'm just now sorting out the books into these um, book things that I've made up. Then I'm going to advertise the rest of the books and put them on the shelf. Um, I don't know. I'm not really feeling it today, guys. I'm not feeling it, but I'm going to push on. I'll do the trellis after I've done the books. And then I need to fix the math practices wall because the lettering is too big and doesn't fit. So I have to redo the lettering for that, print, cut, put it up. And I'm going to just put everything else that's around away and just kind of get it ready for Dumbo. I'm, I'm at a place where, like, if they said, you can't come in anymore, I'd be like, cool, this is it then to September. And I'm okay with that. But yeah, let's, let's, let's finish. is done I have so many books god so I didn't really sort through the picture books at the bottom because I had the time nor energy and I don't think I'm going to keep them there I'm considering moving one of the calyx shelves from way over there to here and using that to house the picture books and then I can sort them into book bins but for now that's it I'm pretty sure I'm ordering more books. I know, I know. Um, so they're going to go in there. I need to go get the phonics, the books that I got from Poundland and put them in one of these. But I've only got four at the minute. And I think I want eight in total. I've made eight labels. But one of them is Rainbow Magic. So one will go here. And then I can't actually remember what the others were. I hope one's Dirty Bertie. So one will go there. So this might change a bit, but at the minute, this is it. I just want some accents to go like on the ends of those gaps, but this is done. And then that's my reading recommendation scrapbook that again will be moving, but it's just there while there's empty space. Okay, so I think I'm changing my mind here. I've just thought that by the looks of it, five of these will fit on a shelf. And there are four shelves, not including the bottom, so that would be 20 books. I'm thinking of 20 boxes, not books, of getting more of those and then putting like series books in them. So Dirty Bertie would have one, that would have one, that would have one, that would have one, Tokyo's Topic Book, they, they would have one they would have one and then anything that isn't in a series 
like random single books i would put in an end one with the um author like e to f or whatever on the end so i think i do like that because they're still alphabetical by author but it's easier for kids to pull that out and look for a book than to you know go through like that look for a book and that will keep it neater i think i'm doing that which means i 16 more of these things cool i also think i need to move everything down a shelf because i forget that these are children and they are going to need to be able to actually reach this so but i'll leave that till i get the other um pots if anyone's wondering by the way these are from poundland and they're just planters which fits the garden theme but yeah i'm gonna move on to popping the trellis up now because i want to see it in this space It's adorable. Gotta pause my movie. Right, the trellis is in. It's shorter than I thought because the space is longer than I thought. I'm considering pushing this forward even more to come up to that space. So it fits. But for now, it's adorable. I need to finish it off with the vines and extra flowers and leaves. But I left my glue gun at home. Oh, it's not here, so I can't. I put the other one there just to see what it looks like. They're both on. And that one can kind of just sit there. Sorry, the camera angle's horrendous today. That one can just sit there, but this one I'm going to put on hooks so it's the same height as the other one. And I kind of want some kind of seating area in here. I think an AstroTurf or like fake grass or something. I don't know. But yeah, um, I'm going to start putting up the rest of these things um, and then I'll take them. I really don't. Okay, so I've been around and put up some of the headings, so math is there, topic and reading are up. I would go around and show you them properly, but I forgot to charge my phone last night. Thought it was charging, but it wasn't actually on, so it's on like 5%. So I can't move from this spot. But what I'm doing now is I'm going to sort out the home corner stuff. So I'm going to go onto my um, downloaded pack where I've got all of these things from. Buy confetti and creativity, download the calendar, blow it up in day three, put it on the wall, and then I can sort out where the other things are going. It's raining again. Stop it. Mm. Um, and then I might do the trays. I kind of don't want to, but I guess I have to. Um, I'm kind of just going with the flow today. I haven't got a plan like I usually do. But yeah, it's going all right. So that's the plan. I, again, won't time lapse because it's dying, but I will show you guys what it looks like when it's done. So I'll pop you guys down now, Gil. Okay, it's um, one o'clock, so I've got two more hours here. My phone battery's on 18%, it's horrendous. But I'm gonna just quickly go around and show you guys what I've done. And then I'm heading to the other side of the school to get some more supplies, basically. So the reading um, label is there. I put this circuit into there. And there's down here. I'm considering moving that to the bookshelf or maybe under the board but I don't want it to go above because I'm making those big flowers and they're gonna go there in fact I think under the board I like I could put a little quote there or something then the maths one is up topic one is up this one I'm gonna take down the um, partition down the middle make it a big board for maths ah oh, that means I'll rip those hooks off that's gonna tear the paper I have many regrets here um, I'm actually getting a board where that spelling tries. I didn't realise that. So that's going to be the spelling one. And then that one will be literacy over the sink. Then the whiteboard is changing still. So that will be the science one. Then all my boards are placed. And then in the home corner, I put these things here for champs. So I need like a title. 
and the calendar is up but i need to go get black paper to back it because it doesn't look great right now and then next to it will be the jobs underneath the calendar is where birthdays are going to go and then i have a bit more space so i might put something somewhere um and then i just put the math practices thing up here the lettering is way too big so i had to make it smaller and I need to put the little subheadings for analyze, solve, and present there. That's everything. So I'm just going to go over to the side and get tissue paper for the flowers, code card for the roses, black paper for the calendar, and the home corner, and put you guys back on charge. Someone just witnessed me vlogging, and I'll never get over it. I'll never get over the feeling of someone watching you as you vlog. But anyway. The home corner is a bit more established now. So let me just come and turn these over. Because names. Right, okay, so I've put the jobs display up. That green is just a placeholder for the daily, the day duty rotor. I've decided that rather than have loads of class jobs, I have some jobs. And then we just swap each day who's doing the other things, like helping me pass out stuff, you know, the random things. Calendar is done so i've just blue tacked that to the black paper for now i had to find a way to get that on a bit more permanent i might double-sided tape it on but the banners are glued on down here we've got the birthdays i've just thought of putting it on there like that so i had to make a banner to say birthdays and then put them on all the children have one of those made already and on the first day of school we're going to draw ourselves in like having the parties and party have that kind of thing and over here, my calyx shelves, I've put the um, light I got from a pound stretcher in there. The second one just holds all the numbers for the jobs and their birthday pictures, which will be living somewhere. I had to kind of tidy that up a bit. But then the last one, I decided to make my brain break area. So I've just currently put what I've got in there and I organise it to emotion. So I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling angry, I'm feeling, I don't know, annoyed. How am I feeling? And or why it was the last one, and put them in there. And then the slide still the same with my champs. I had to do the banner for that. But other than that, this area is kind of more or less done. Apart from like the homey things that I cut apart. Um, I literally haven't changed anything else in the classroom. It's still a mess. I'm avoiding doing the trays, so I haven't done them. So I'm just going to quickly tidy up and put everything onto, you know, some tables. I like having at least three tables with stuff on and the rest are clear. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to head home. Right, so I'm about tidy and ready to go. Everything is on three tables, though. One of them's random over there, we we'll ignore it. Everything that I want to sort of do tomorrow is here. So put up the science, English, and multiplication masters. No clue where they're going. Um, I did find my glue gun, it was in that bag, but it's too late now. So I'll do that tomorrow. And I've also been trying to work out where to keep my stationery. I've got these pots from Tesco that's going to just hold everything, but I don't know where to put them. I remember that my trolley, I remember that my trolley from Hobbycraft is still about, and it was my PPA trolley, but I haven't got PPA anymore. Well, I do, but not to the extent that I did, so I don't need a whole trolley for it. Um, so I think I'm going to make that my stationary trolley, and it will live right here in this empty space by the door. And then whoever's on day duty can wheel around like a little trolley dolly and give out extra supplies. Like if someone needs a pencil or a pen or they've run out, they, like their job can be in the morning or whenever to go around and replenish the supplies. So yeah, that's everything for me. I'm going to go home now, so I'm going to end the vlog. If you have enjoyed my video, please give it a like, um, comment how you're getting with your setup. If you see anything about that I haven't said where it's from, please comment and ask, you know, where's that from? Because I do forget to do that. Um, if you don't already, subscribe to my channel for the rest of the setup. Um, if you don't already, follow me on Instagram. Same name, at Oshiri Sensei. I'm really bad at doing these ends because I forget what to say. But um, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.